Hi, this is going to be a quick video. Uh, I put a video up earlier on my YouTube channel of timing this engine for high octane gasoline. And I was going to run that, but then I was looking more at the rules for the class that I run this in for the tractor pulls, and they do allow high octane race fuel, such as between 100 and 115 octane fuel. So I decided I was going to run Avgas, Aviation Gasoline. So when I had adjusted the carburetor to run on Aviation Fuel, I noticed it was uh, pinging. You could hear almost like a second exhaust note before the exhaust stroke. So it was a very eerie sound. When it would get up to three quarters of the RPM without a load. Imagine under a load it would probably stop pinging, but it's hard to say. So I did some more research and Aircrafts are usually timed to 25 degrees before top dead center. So for those of you doing garden tractor pulls that are interested in timing for higher octane fuels, you might need to see what fuels prefer. Uh, as for Avgas, which is a higher octane leaded fuel, has a longer shelf life. So this tractor, which is my B1, let me, uh, the Alice Chalmers B1 doesn't get run all that much. So I want to run the aviation fuel in this since this is the backup for a backup for if I need attachments. So since the aviation fuel has a longer shelf life, I'm going to leave that in this engine. It won't have the corrosion or the gelling issues. Uh, another thing is uh, it's leaded fuel, so it'll lubricate the valves better in this engine because it was originally designed to run a leaded fuel because this is late 1960s still has the points and condenser style cast iron engine and they had leaded fuel up until the mid 70s so I backed it off to 25 degrees how I had adjusted this is I knew I had my timing to about just over 30 degrees so I found out where the magnet was lining up with the coil and I put another bracket on here this is going to stay on here now so when I had a uh, I stack timed this bracket by going by where the magnet was at and recalibrated this. So when I reposition the coil where the magnet is just past this leg, I can see where my timing mark is at. I already checked it with the timing light. So I move this coil over, uh, retarded. I retarded the timing on this as far as it would go, which is right about five degrees. Uh, you might be able to get seven degrees movements out of it because I didn't have it all the way over when I had timed it before. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong on that, but five degrees is quite a bit of movement for a magneto with points of condenser. So I move this, I retarded this as much as I could and it got me right to about 25 degrees before top dead center. And these are still going to be somewhat accurate with the exception of the play and the flywheel and the aspect, or uh, I'm sorry, the relationship and how you're looking at this in regards to where it's at. So, as long as I'm in the ballpark of 25 degrees, I gotta put this all back together, and we'll see how it runs. I'll get a video of that. So, that's a little bit of a quick update. I have more videos coming up, just gonna be editing them up. Gonna be editing them, and I'm also currently waiting for it to get dark out, to get a video of that tractor with the lights going.
doesn't look like I can see in there too good, but I'm going to move the governor spring. Let me grab a light. I think that's a little bit better. So the spring on the left, I need to move over one hole. So let me do that because I can't see with the, the camera in the way, so hang on. Okay, I moved it over now. Now one thing I forgot to mention earlier, why I have to change the timing is, uh, the octane rating is a fuel's resistance to auto ignition due to heat. Only problem with why I had to readjust the timing here is the fuel actually burns faster than gasoline. So the octane rating does not tell you how fast the fuel burns. That being said, the avgas burns faster than gasoline versus alcohol, which would burn slower than gasoline. So that's why I had to retard the timing five degrees. So let me fire this up and I'll get another tack reading on there. I'm trying to get it about 3,800 RPMs. Uh, I don't want to go over 4,000 RPMs because that's the max for the class. This is going to the max stock 16s classes. And uh, the rules vary from pole to pole. So this is just going to be specifically for pulling or backup of my for my backup tractor because that'll be my primary for uh, snow removal as well as my one craftsman to plow on it which I don't have out over here but I put my craft my put my plow on my other craftsman so I have my plow and this for snow removal and if we get a blizzard then I have two other tractors my 2012 and the B1 so let me get this started back up. Matter of fact, I think I might put you guys on the, the tripod to watch how I have to start this thing up. Because uh, the valve lash gap is bigger on the intake than what it should be to bypass the Atkinson cycle. So there's no decompression on this engine. So to start it, because uh, unless it's really warmed up, the star generator doesn't usually crank it over too easily. But to start, I usually have to wind this thing backwards and wrap it with a rope. It might just start up with the star generator since it's warmed up. So that being said, uh, if it's cold, usually I have to wind this thing backwards and pull the rope on it. And I'm um, kind of excited to hear that little bit of a, a backfire. That means the timing's pretty good. Not so much not so early that's backfiring on the rope but if i go over and crank it with the star generator it might pop a little bit i'll keep that in mind i'll crank it over a little bit and then with the kill and then turn the ignition on after it's cranking because what that is that's just when the the fuel sits in the cylinder it uh evaporates and becomes a homogenous mix in the cylinder and it's more likely to combust when you go to crank it so since i don't have to worry about pull start in this thing I can just wind it backwards and oh come on son of a gun it must have cooled down whichever I'll just rope start it <laughs> I'll do that off camera so hang on Sounds pretty good to me. Now the original RPM of this engine was 3400 RPM, so I'm going 400 RPMs higher than it was originally intended. But I'm very careful to make sure it's not running lean, it's not going to backfire, it's got to be, uh, it's always going to be under a decent load if it's going to get revved up normally. No load or high load. So, got my 25 degrees, well 25 or 26 degrees before top to the center on the ignition which the coil moves about five degrees on the, the engine. I'm running aviation fuel. I don't know what the compression ratio is of this. Uh, being it is a flathead, I doubt it's very high. 
you're running higher compression ratios, it shouldn't change your timing, but not allowed to port and polish, I don't believe. And even if I was, this engine gets used around the house. It's not only going to be used for pulling. I also run a, a vacuum unit on the back if I ever uh, when I'm at shows for show. So this has to be uh, multi-purpose. Not going to build it just for poles. Matter of fact, the, this pipe actually has baffling in it. That's why there's uh, hard to see. Let me see if I come over to the other side. Yeah, here you can see it. The, bat, the holes that come out of the pipe inside are down here, and that's why there's more rust on the bottom half, and this is clean. There's actually a baffle in here that comes up to about here. Uh, there's a pipe with a plug in it, and the holes are in the bottom of the pipe, and then it comes out to the outside, and the nut also is a baffle. So it's just enough of an exhaust pipe to keep it from backfiring when I throttle it down. And there's probably... 20 some holes drilled in the black pipe of 5 16 holes. So plenty of airflow. It's not the quietest muffler, but it's better than a stack. And the problem with having a straight pipe on this thing is it just blows up in your face. It drives me crazy. <laughs> so, there's some more tips for ignition timing for you. Hopefully, you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and have a good day. Bye.